waiting in line so we can get a picture at the buoy. Shoot me now. <laughs> But we made it! The southernmost point. Too bad we're not going to be sailing to Cuba anytime soon. That would have been cool. Alright, we're um, walking around Key West playing tourist for the day. And uh, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to be tourists today. Yeah, we're tourists today <laughs> looking for, kind of checking it out for work-wise for some jobs, which we... I kind of think we're headed north, but we're not sure. We checked out Hemingway's house, we looked at the banyan tree. We might go to the Atosha Museum if I can talk Dad into going with me, because I really want to see it. And uh, yeah, we're going to be tourists today. It's alright for me. Scouting it out now. This is Christmas Tree Island right here. We heard it was kind of rough over there. I heard from someone if your dinghy ever gets stolen, look for it there. But uh, yeah, it's pretty packed here too, as to be expected. But um, but yeah, that would kind of probably be where we were thinking of putting the boat. around the Atosha Museum. Uh, I had read the book Coming Down the Rivers and so it was really kind of cool to see um, the museum and see all the stuff from the shipwreck. Nuestra Señora de Atosha, or Our Lady of the Atosha, was the most famous fleet of Spanish ships that sank in 1622 off the Florida Keys while uh, being packed with copper, silver, gold, tobacco, gems, jewels, and indigo from Spanish ports at Catahina and Portobello in New Grenada um, and Havana, bound for Spain. In the early morning hours of September 6th, 1622, two days after departing, departing from Havana, the entire convoy was hit by a very severe hurricane about 35 miles west of Key West. The ship's sails were quickly ripped off by the masts by the howling winds, and the loss of the rudder soon followed. At some point, the ship was, ship was scooped up by a wave and slammed down onto a reef, gouging out the bottom of the ship, snapping the keel and ripping open the hull. American treasure hunter Mel Fisher, Finley Rickard, and a team of subcontractors funded by investors and others in a joint venture searched the seabed for the Atosha for 16 and a half years. 
the Atosha wreck and its mother load of silver, gold, and emeralds was finally discovered in July 1985. It was Mel's son, Kane, who radioed the news to the Treasure Solvers headquarters in the Florida coast. Fisher died on December 19, 1998, but it, he had been the uh, most famous treasure solver in the entire world, finding around $400 million worth of gold. All right, we're here at Sombrero Beach, which is the biggest beach in the Keys. Really, there's actually not many beaches in the Keys. Um, so this is the nicest, biggest one, and it's pretty nice down here. Nice little park, volleyball nets. Sisters Creek is over here where we uh, might come snorkel if the weather permits us to. So that'll be fun if we can do that. I guess there's lots of fish around. It'd be cool to bring our spear gun, but we still haven't gotten it, gotten the bands for it yet. So, so this is it. This is this hmm. is basically the biggest beach there is in in the Keys. Crazy. Yep. All right, we came to check out Dockside, which my dad said was a really, really kind of happening place when he came here a couple of years ago. So we're here now, and um, she's dusted. Nothing around, closed up. That's kind of sad. Dad said this place used to be a lot of fun. So that's a little bit bumming. Yeah, it's a bit of What a shame. I mean, this was just packed. Huh. And they had all their all the entertainment played here every night. Yeah. Well, that's that's, that is a shame. Don't you hate it when good places go to the dust? And two years ago, it had, it had just opened. Oh, really? Yeah. Dang. Was, wonder why it went to to crap. Join us next week as we head up the East Coast.